Thank you, everybody. Thanks for having me. Um, I am going to talk about the iOS 17 and kind of go through some of the features, uh, some demos, some just uh, going through a list here and giving you some of my uh, insights of what we're expecting with uh, with iOS 17. Uh, so let me share my screen. Um, first off, I'll start off with the version that's out right now. And uh, I saw you, Linda, listed on that <clears throat> on the list of all the updates. I wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. 17.1.1 is the latest update on the iPhone. Um, minor updates and in, in really that included, specifically, there were some car wireless charging issues, but there was some Wi-Fi connectivity issues uh, that were also uh, having a problem, uh, which is going to be in 17.2, which is the beta, which I'm going to probably touch upon a little later in the presentation here. Uh, so be sure you go out and uh, and uh, uh, get your updates for 17.1.1 uh, uh, and uh, stay current. Like, like you, everybody should stay current on all their OSs, whether it be Mac, uh, iPhone, or iPad. Keep, keep them up to date here. So, so what I'm going to do is just kind of talk about here. This is this is Apple's website, and I'm just going to talk about some of the stuff. I'm going to interact with some demos here with uh, my my iPhone that I have here, and uh, we'll, we'll kind of give you some of my insights of what uh, what's been uh, really cool with iOS 17. Um, so we're going to start with phone. Uh, the phone uh, they really added some really cool features in in phone. Uh, specifically, uh, let me move this out of the way here, and so we can just talk about these notes. Um, specifically, it was um, the first thing they did is they did allow you to be able to customize uh, what people see when they call you. This is kind of a cool thing, and my wife and I both set it up, and I hope many of you have already set this up, where it allows you to be able to customize the, the contact page and put your photo on there. So I got a nice picture of my wife that she sees a picture, a nice picture of me. And it's really cool way to be able to customize it. You can go through a lot of this customizations and it's, it's super easy to do that. Um, so that's one of the, um, one of the new features in the phone. Um, one thing I will talk about in the phone itself here, I did the screenshot here to show you, and everybody's probably were a little bit up, up in arms when they moved all the buttons around in, in, in the phone. <laughs> so, uh, so now the buttons are now in this order at the at the bottom part of the screen whenever you're you're, you're on the, making a phone call. So the end button was all by itself at one point. Now you have all these other buttons here that allows you to be able to go through and adjust accordingly, whether it be turning the audio on and off. Um, it's uh, turning on FaceTime right from there to talk to that person, mute, add something, buddy else on keypad. I kind of like it. I think it's a little easier to get to things because you had to swipe into different pages on the previous uh, in, in iOS 16 and, and older. Uh, so this was kind of a, uh, a neat uh, thing. I like it. So I don't know what everybody else's feeling is about that, but uh, it, uh, it, is a nice, uh, it is a nice feature here. So uh, also as far as voicemail goes, they really made some really cool changes with this too. I thought find this to be really intriguing here is the fact that you now can um, uh, screen your calls. So now when somebody calls uh, calls you and you don't want to answer it, you let it go to voicemail, they're going to start talking. And you can l literally watch what they say as a, as they record the voicemail. And if you decide you want to you want to listen, you want to talk to them, you can just slide the answer and be able to uh, get to that uh, tran get to that call if you so if you so choose, or let you let it go into uh, into vo into the voicemail. And you can go back and listen to it later. So long time coming for this this is old go back to the old days when we had you all used to have answering machines right when you you'd be able to you would someone would call you can you could uh, screen that call it's recording it on that big cassette tape right uh so this is kind of the new the new thing with iphone this was kind of a long time coming they kind of they kind of should have done uh something like that so uh this this was a, a pretty cool thing so um Messages. Messages had a, a quite a few big changes um, that they added. Specifically, what they did is they put all the apps in one place. And uh, let me uh, share my other iPhone here. Um, okay, so here is Messages, and um, they, like I said, they put all the apps in one place. And the way they where, where they put it was in the uh, uh, by by tapping this plus button. So then you had all these apps here some of the core apps but i've added other apps in here too which is kind of cool um and you can go in and actually tap more brings up all the other apps that are in here 
the core apps are, are usually like camera photos, stickers, and, and, so, and so, forth, so on and forth, so on and so forth. What you can do is you actually can go into messages here, and I'm in the mess in settings and then messages, and you see here there's this iMessage apps. Now these are this is all the apps I have installed on my iPhone, so I could technically have every single one of these as a listed item to go in and actually access uh, them, but I opt not to. Like I don't use Venmo that much. I, I, I can turn it off. But the nice thing about Venmo is if you pay people a lot of times and then you can do it through text, you can have that turned on. Um, it's like YouTube and Zoom. You might even want to send your, a Zoom link right into your text. That 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 shows up there. So any one of these apps that you see here listed, these are the in, in addition to what were in that list, gives you the option to uh, add to that list when you're in a text here, and that's this menu right here. So. This is really a cool thing that they've they've added when it comes to um, uh, being able to access the applications uh, very easily. Um, other things that they've added in messages includes um, if you want to have a check, you have check-ins where you can actually let a friend know that you've arrived safely somewhere. You can add and send a check-in to, to somebody, which is really a cool thing to be able to uh, do if uh, to make sure they they got home safe. Um, they did a bit of a thing called a catch up, which uh, uh, catch up and swipe to reply. There's an arrow that lets you jump between the messages and allows you to uh, to do that. So sorry here. Uh, so it gives you the option um, as far as uh, it uh, being able to uh, get to that. Uh, the search filters were also added, so you can actually fill. Some boy, this thing is giving me nothing but grief here. I'll let me just stop this. Um, and uh, it gives you the option to be able to find the message you were looking for faster by uh, combining these search filters and narrowing down your search. Uh, it really enhanced some of the location views, which I think is really cool that they added to this, uh, the map, so it's so much easier to see where that person is from within text. Um, it also added audio and message transcription, so you can actually transcribe a message in the voice if you want to, and uh, that does get, add that as well. And then there's this whole stickers thing. Uh, they've they've added uh, these cool things that you can have stickers uh, and be able to uh, ac access stickers and create your own stickers for that matter. Um, and I was going to try and demo that, which uh, can be tricky, but let me try it here real quick. Um, I'm going to try to share one more time here. And what this will allow you to do is actually go to a photo and create a sticker. Um, from that photo, as you know, when you tap some tap something on a on a photo, let's see if I can bring this up and do this before it disappears. So here's a photo. I actually took this photo um, when I was at uh, in Las Vegas at the U2 concert at the at the Sphere. So what I can do is I can tap and hold it. So there's Bono and uh, and the Edge here, and I can tap right here where it says. Oh, you may not be seeing this, so I, I can add a sticker and. And now this has added a sticker in here, so I got to stop sharing the photo, of course. Um, so that is added. Let's see if it'll bring it back up. Um, so now, if I go into messages, whoop, if I go into messages here, um, I can actually tap this and go to stickers, and let's see if it comes up. It does. So this was a sticker right here that I created from that photo, and all I got to do is tap this. So now that's a sticker. You can actually send. I'll just send this to. This, this phone here. So a lot of times people want to do that like they want to take a picture, they want to t take a uh, little sticker shot of their cat or their or, or someone's face or something like that. It's always it's really fun. And, and, and you can see here as the demo shows all these things can be done. And you could create tons of stickers. And I know lots of people are having lots of fun to do that. Uh, in, in fact, you can actually create your own live uh, stickers here. And this, this shows a cat being added as a sticker here and lets you be able to uh, to add that, which is kind of fun. Um, so super cool and what they've done with stickers. Um, one thing I will I will also mention to you is let me get back out of here. And let's see if it'll still let me demo. Yes, it will. So if I go back into messages here now, I'm going to get out of here and then just uh, start start again here. So, you know, I, as I showed you, I, I tap that plus and it brings the menu up here. But a lot of times you don't want to go into that menu. This is a tip here. So if you if you tap the plus and hold it, um, what it does is it brings the photos right up. 
right in one step here, which is really cool. So you don't have to. So now if I want to just go ahead and attach, this was me at MacStock. I took a picture. I could send that. So now it's one step instead of three steps. So you had the, the long way where you had to go, go through and uh, tap the plus, tap photos, choose the photo, and then send. Now I've saved you two steps. So let me do that again for you. So you, so you tap the button, that brings up the menu, but if you tap it and hold it, it'll bring the photos right up. Gives you a nice little easy way um, to get your photos within messages, which is really cool. Um, FaceTime, a lot of changes in FaceTime here. Uh, one of the really cool things, and I've used this quite a bit, I don't know if anybody else has, but uh, the ability to be able to record a video or audio message when someone misses your FaceTime call. A lot of times, you you have uh, you 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 call somebody they're not available, and before it would just say caller not available. <laughs> then you could send them a text message or whatnot. So now, what they've done is they've added this uh, in place, so it, it gives you the option uh, to be able to uh, uh, leave that message to somebody, and then they can listen to it, and then they can get back to you. So if you actually you got ahead of the game here, and you told them what you were going to tell them. Um, so that's one of the big features they've added in FaceTime. Um, it does that, this other thing tool, which is crazy. This is the, uh, the, the gestures. I know a lot of people are, are not too overly excited about gestures and some people are. So, you know, I can go like this on my camera right now and, it, and, I, and I, I've got to pick it up. There's the balloons that's doing it on mine here. Uh, it also does this on iOS as well. Um, there are, there, there, there is a way you actually could turn this off if you want. You have to, you have to go deep in the settings. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but you do have it. It's fun. I don't see any reason to really turn it off. Um, the other thing too they did with FaceTime is the ability to have being able to do FaceTime calls using your Apple TV. So what happens is your your iPhone will now become a uh, uh, you know, become a camera that you use as the FaceTime call on your Apple TV, and then the call gets handed off to your TV, and then the camera's sitting right there, and you can just set this camera on a stand or however you have it set up, and use the cam and use it use it from. Uh, uh, from that, that, that place. So it makes it uh, really cool and easy to, to make calls. If you don't want to be sitting in front of a phone, you want to have a couple people like, like this shows here, a family having a, a nice conversation with somebody over your Apple TV, um, which is really cool. Um, they also added a feature called standby. I'm not big into this, but I think it's something that, uh, that, that is, is nice, especially if you, if those of you who put your iPhone at, at your, uh, like I do, I have it on my nightstand all the time, so I'm charging it and it's nearby with to me. Uh, basically what, you, what happens is you put your phone on its side while it's charging, and then you're gonna see all these activities that you can add and customize uh, at your choice. So the com most common one is the, it shows a clock and the calendar. So, you know, you wake up and the standby bug, it, it, it dims, so it doesn't like keep you up at night here. Uh, but like if you're listening to music, you could set those things. If you just want a big clock like this, you could do that. It does have some uh, live activities that's in there. So if you stay on top of things like during the day, you might want to have that or even show weather uh, like that as well as too. Uh, that they've added that as well. Um, some of the other things that, that I that I like is uh, interactive widgets. Now the widgets are actually interactive, so you can play your music, turn off the lights, and you can do all kinds of uh, all kinds of cool things. With widgets, that's a whole other topic by itself. We can go into widgets, but this is another really cool thing that that, that I've found that that is really a, a lot of fun here. Um, the other new feature that they've added is AirDrop, and this is swapping numbers with what's called Name Drop. And they weren't really for, ready for this when iOS 17 first came out. So when 17.1 came out, that, that this is more enhanced now. So easy to, as you show this in the animation that allows you to be able to swap numbers back and forth using name drop so it makes it super easy to uh, to send that uh, information really quickly. Um, so no, uh, it, it is great and it allows you to be able to send things. The other thing that they've had is uh, being able to share things with intention. So you know how we've had to do it in the past where you had to go into AirDrop if you want to share a photo with somebody. You have to be in your contacts or you have to set it to every everyone for just uh, 10 minutes. Uh, well, they, they now have added a way where you're actually just going to do AirDrop, but you know, before they introduced AirDrop uh, transfers over the internet, which is now available, um, you had to be right near that person and like, wait until it finished transferring. Well, now you have the feature called AirDrop transfers can now can be done uh, with a 
uh, with over the internet. So they've added that now. So you can walk away from that person and it will still keep downloading until it finishes downloading. So a lot of times it could be like a video of some sort that gives you a, 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 that gives you a little longer time for downloading. Uh, so it's really cool they, they've added that. Um, with uh, with uh, holding of the two iPhones together, you now can actually start an instant share play session, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I like the fact that they, they, they do, do give you that little option as well when it comes to that. So um, it, it's a, it, is, it is a nice thing here. So I'll talk about journal in just a minute when I get to 17.2 because that isn't out just yet. But they did add some enhancements to the keyboard. I don't know how much how, how much everybody else likes the way the keyboard is. It's it's uh, auto correcting words. It it can kind of be a nuisance at times. Uh, for the most part, it's done pretty well. Uh, but you know now that what they've done is they've done the predictions as you in line as you type. You can actually tap the space bar and you can finish those words and sentences very quickly. Um, so give or take that, it's not a, a big deal. Uh, the other cool thing they did was with Safari. They, if you actually now can create profiles, because those of you have uh, that you, maybe you share your phones with your kids, your grandkids, you can actually set and go, hey, hey, let's have a profile specifically for that person, so they don't you don't see all their history. You can have your own profile and set it up. So now you actually can go into Safari and, and get into uh, to tab groups and 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 all that stuff, and it really makes it uh, a much uh, a nicer experience especially if you're sharing your phone sometimes with somebody um so to have multiple profiles or you can create your own multiple profiles maybe you're doing some work and some some uh, uh play and you can keep that separate too um and they've they've really enhanced uh, uh auto filling and this is the other cool thing and i'm gonna hit this with a tip with a with a uh, tip here in a minute here is the autofill verification codes you can receive in email as well as text they have now added this, so if you get an email message of, an, of, of a verification code to verify that you can sign into that particular site, like in this case, they want to confirm them as, as if that's you, there's the code, it'll automatically enter it because it sees it was sent uh, via email. Um, and you also can do that with, uh, uh, with, with uh, iPhone as well, and you, you can uh, get that uh, turned on or off. Um, let me uh, get share in here again here to show you. Uh, it, it does uh, give you that option to do that. A oh. couple other things I'll talk about here is uh, one of the one of the cool things is um, I'm not sure, sure if you if you know you have um, you have a um, an uh, Apple TV and I know all of us try to ha uh, always have trouble finding our remotes. They always get stuck in the sh in the cushion, right? Well, Apple, the, the the Apple t the Apple TV remote always had a built-in air tag to it which we never knew about this until all of a sudden people discovered it as they were finding out the fact that apple put this in but they deliberately did not enable it uh well what what you can do now is you can actually find that uh remote very easily let me share my other iphone here and get that to show you how it works oh, I, I demoed it so let's go there we go so what you do is you go up into um, into the into the in the control center here, and you go into the remote. Now this is showing a couple of my Apple TVs here. Uh, if you tap the little uh, little button there, look what you see here. All of my remotes can be found because these are my, these are the, all four of my I, my Apple TVs. So all I have to do is tap Find right here, and then this is the one that's right near me here. Um, so you see what it's doing. It's near me. It's near me. It's near me. Very near. There it is. <laughs> so they really have added this feature, which is awesome because people were, were, were uh, creating little cases you could put around the Apple TV remote and you could put an air tag inside, <laughs> inside the remote to, to find that I, I fell for that. But uh, finally, Apple has come up with something that allows you to be able to uh, uh, share that stuff, which is really cool. Um, the other thing they've done too is they've a actually added, uh, you can actually ping your watch. You notice here uh, down at the bottom here. This is this is in the control center. You can add these to it. So if I tap this to try to find my Apple Watch, it, it is on my wrist, so it, it it probably should ring if it does find it. Um, there we go. So not only can you you can you use your Apple Watch to find your uh, your iPhone, you can now find your Apple. You can uh, you can use your iPhone to find your Apple Watch. 
So it, that gives you some uh, really cool things to be able to do that. Um, so uh, let me sh also show you, uh, let's see, the two-factor authentication that I was talking about here. Let's see if I can get into this. Revealing anything. Okay, so when in the, so to, to the, the, let me, I'm just going back to what I just talked about earlier about the, uh, the verification codes. When you get the verification codes in text, uh, what this does, it'll automatically clean them up. So here is what I did was I went into password and then password options. And if you see here, this is the verification codes. If you turn this on, it'll automatically delete the verification codes in messages uh, uh, and mail after it's inserted with autofill. So they've got this set. So if you turn this on, it's sort of automatically going to clear those out for you. So you know how we always went in the messages. You have all those authentication codes in your messages, and you have to, uh, you have them in your email. Well, now this this gives you the option to make sure that that is uh, is being uh, removed uh, for you. So uh, re really cool feature, and I'm glad they added that uh, as well. Uh, you also can do it with uh, what you also can do with their tags. You actually now can share uh, that with somebody. But I'm not going to share it on here because it's so just for privacy reasons here. But I'll just describe it. Um, in the Find My app, you actually can share an air tag with somebody. So what you do is you go into the Find My app, and and you and you you have the ability to be able to go in and um, uh, go to that air tag, and you can share that air tag with somebody. So let's say you know I've got a lot of air tags with my that top they're on my keys. That gives you the option to be able to uh, tap into that air tag and be able to share that with somebody else. So if they um, if they have, uh, if you want them to be able to find that, then now they'll have that ability to be able to see where that air tag is as well. Um, so, but that works with anything. You know, maybe you're using the air tag to, to, to have it in a car or something that you're, you know, you're tracking your car when you're for a kid or whatever. You have the op option to be able to share that air tag with other people that you trust, of course. Um, the other thing they've they've added here, and let me uh, switch to this other phone here, if you don't mind. I was going to show you that. So what I've done is on this phone, I just recently changed my passcode. So if for some reason that you forget, uh, for the next, uh, it says for the next 70 hours or, or, or and two minutes, your previous passcode can be used to reset the new passcode if you forget it. So what that's done, what that means is like if you, for, you, you changed your passcode, you forgot it you have the ability right now to be able to go into this and uh, change uh, change it by using your old passcode. Now you can go in here right away and expire it. So I can, I can actually tap this and it'll expire the, uh, it, it'll expire the, uh, the passcode, but now it just gives you the ability to be able to, uh, to, to set that up and when it comes to that. So, um, so another cool feature that they've added with this, uh, which is uh, really pretty cool. Um, the other thing too is they've added is enhancements with uh, with timers. So if you go in the timers app and the time, uh, you know, you've got the world clock in here, and then you've got your alarms and uh, just an actual stopwatch. But you also have timers. What people, what you can do now is you actually can start a timer. And let's say I want to name this timer something. Uh, so I'm just going to call it cooking. And I start it. So now see how it's it labeled it here on the timer. I've got this here and it lists it here. So then I can go to this one. If I want to start this timer, I can actually go in and I can, I can add, we can, you can edit those or you can actually just start other timers if you want. So if I add a timer, same thing, you can create another label. So you, not only do you have the ability to having multiple timers, so maybe you're, you're, you're doing some cooking or you want to time two, two or three or four separate things. This does give you the ability to be able to, uh, 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 go in and uh, and change that. Uh, so it's uh, it's it's a really cool uh, feature in timers uh, that it allows you to do that. Um, so the camera settings by default. Uh, the, like I said, my phone here is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. So so go into camera here, and then uh, you you actually go into formats. Okay. So now we've gone in here before, and I'll I'll remind everybody here is. Uh, you do have camera capture settings in the camera here that does high efficiency or most compatible. High efficiency means that's the HEIC um, uh, file extension. 
So when you're sharing those photos with somebody, somebody, some people may not, especially Windows users, if they don't have a converter to be able to view those photos, they, they will be in that format. They're not going to have to get an app to do that. Well, if you set it for most compatible, those will be JPEGs. So that's what we're, uh, that's what everybody is used to here. And it says it has the, the disclaimer right here on the, uh, right here on the, the screen here. It does reduce the file sizes with these, with these formats. Uh, but if you want most compatible, you probably should just set it to that for JPEG uh, when you set that. So that's important. Now, again, this is, this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. The Pro has this for what's called Pro Raw, which is the high end photos here. Um, and uh, what this does is this does have uh, the uh, the capability that uh, allows you to be able to shoot in RAW, but you may want to do the default so it doesn't set it that way. So uh, if you tap Pro RAW here in, in defaults, here's the here's the file sizes. So right now I've got it set to uh, H E F H E I F Max. Um, that's it. Each file size is going to be about five megabytes at 48 megapixels, but you have Pro Raw Max, and it could be set to that default. Um, I would probably uh, say uh, don't set it to that uh, because if you see here, uh, 75 megabytes at the very minimum on a Pro Raw file, they're they're very long, so not a bad idea to uh, uh, to check that out uh, and make sure that it's set properly here. I don't know if I froze here. You guys can still hear me, right? For some reason, yes. my, camera froze. Okay, my camera froze here. <laughs> uh, I can keep going. Uh, so uh, uh, another another enhancements have been added uh, were uh, in CarPlay. Uh, CarPlay now has uh, uh, now has uh, the ability to someone to be in in the uh, in the car here. I just use this from here. Uh, allows you to be able to share play form the music app while you're in the car with somebody. So if, if you have your kids or anybody in the back seat of your car using CarPlay, they now will have you, you put them into share play, they'll now have access to be able to uh, uh, use the music app and be able to control what to listen to <laughs> in the car. So they did add that in the enhancements with CarPlay. Uh, and uh, so this is what it shows like here when it's asking for a session right in the car, uh, as well as uh, They've improved some EVs charging station improvements, so it does give you uh, uh, real time charging availability if you have an EV. Uh, the messages updates have, are, I've, I've been noticing that have been very, very uh, in, much improved. Uh, the way th they're much easier and e quicker to reply just by the, the message being re read to you in the car. Uh, and then they added some cool wallpapers. And then we're still waiting for the new new CarPlay experience that hasn't hasn't come out just yet. I, I, I'm interested to see where this goes. Um, you know, Apple's hasn't really said much about it when it comes to that, but that's still in the works there. But some of the CarPlay enhancements are are uh, are pretty good here. Um, so uh, I, I was pretty impressed with uh, some of this stuff here. So uh, let me make sure I covered pretty much everything here. Um, uh, I'll talk about AirPods real quick here. I mean, I have the second generation AirPods Pro with the USB uh, C connector, uh, which is uh, the latest versions. Um, they did add some new adaptive audio and I've really noticed a cool di difference with, with this and, and, and allowing be able to blend uh, the dynamic of transparency as well as active noise cancellation. And then the, you can tailor it so it works in the changing environments. And I have noticed it right now, like right now I have it set to, to transparency because I want to be able to hear myself talk while I'm talking to you. Um, but you can change the modes just by tapping the AirPods and be able to, to do that. And it works really seamlessly with uh, um, uh, with your iPhone and iOS 17. So uh, it's really cool. Um, as far as maps go, they did make some enhancements with maps here. Uh, they did add, the big thing was being able to download maps for offline use. Uh, they didn't have that ability before. So uh, it uh, is, uh, it, it is a cool thing now your average actually downloads these ahead of time you remember we'd always go to Google Maps and not having the ability to be able to download your maps here. So they did, did, did add some enhancements there. Uh, and uh, that's really cool. Uh, but for those of you who have EVs they have some real time uh, routing uh, uh, of uh, availability on your route. Uh, so. Uh, Yes, lady has changed a little bit. Uh, so you can do back-to-back -back requests. Now you can just say, yes, lady. 
I want to say it and trigger everybody's uh, 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 voice assistant. So it does have that now. So, but you can change it back to hey if you want to. Uh, but that they they set the default to just the uh, just the S, uh, which is uh, which is okay, I guess. Um, and uh, in Spotlight, they've now uh, they now have added uh, when you search for an app, the Spotlight intelligently offers you the app shortcuts for your next action within a top hit. So if you've searched it before, it'll remember that. So it's smart within Spotlight, gives you that option as well. Uh, this is really cool is the building be able to uh, find rep find recipes for similar dishes from a photo. You actually can put take a photo or anything of, of a dish and it will give you some results of, of, of alternate recipes uh, for food, which is kind of neat. Um, it also has visual lookup and video, like identifying uh, animals and plants and landmarks. Uh, really, have had some added some really cool enhancements into there as well. Health app is really it had some more powerful insights. I've been using it quite a bit. Um, I use it to track all the medicines I take, and it's, it, it makes it really easy to, to track it now. And uh, they've got some more powerful things to how you are, how you're feeling. Uh, interesting the way the Apple Watch works in, in junction with 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 iOS 17 and, and making sure that you're that you're walking you're walking is stable and uh, it, it senses all these different things which is what's really great um, uh, again they've done some improvements with security as we know uh, and they've they've really done some great things across the devices so so much more stuff here I think I, I think I uh, hit this for the about uh, 40 I think about 40 minutes here now so um, I guess I can open up to questions if if anybody has any questions, uh, something that they're, they're having challenges up, I'd love to answer them. Okay, just go ahead and unmute if you'd like to ask a question. Let's see if I can stop. My yeah, what would the workflow be to um, to do that spotlight search from a um, from a food photo? Um, basically, what you do is you go into the camera when you when, when you uh, go into camera. I believe it, uh, you could take it. It goes into photos. Um, let's let me bring that back up here. Uh, I remember now you can see me moving again. <laughs> uh, oh. It's basically a visual lookup. So when you when you when you're actually using the camera to picture it up, and it'll it'll actually have results, as as from what I'm seeing here. I haven't tried this in a while, so um, but that's basically what it's going to do. It's basically what it's called visual lookup. So okay. when you take photos, you can go back to the photos, and it'll actually you can tap it, and then it'll it'll visually look at that photo, and then give you some results. I have a question. Um, sure. I have a 13 Pro. Okay. And as I'm looking at some of these things as quickly as you did it, and I'm trying to find them, I I don't have them all. Do you need to have a later version of the iPhone to get this stuff? It depends on what the feature is. Yeah, there are going to be some features in the older models that may not apply, um, but that's right. okay. The, the The 13 Pro is a perfectly good iPhone, there's no reason to really have to think, consider upgrading uh, right now. Um, when, and when I go, when I talk about iPhones, you know, you know, we're at the 15 now. The 14 and 13 are perfectly fine still. When you start getting to the 12, then the 11, then I would probably, you know, think about it. But yeah, some features may not be available only because of the processing speed. The 13 won't be able to handle it. Um, but uh, 13, you know, my wife's got the 13, and I, I haven't had, she hasn't had any real problems with. Uh, can access most of the features. Thank I'm you. I'm not sure offhand without looking uh, to tell you which ones are or not uh, on, on the 13. A question about the stickers. Sure. Uh, the custom ones, pretty neat, but do you know if you send one of these custom stickers to someone with an older version of iOS, uh, what will happen? I should still be able to see them. I haven't tried it. Um, that's a good question. Uh, yeah, because because basically it's it's setting it within iMessage. I, I it's possible they may not see it, but I I don't know for a fact. I haven't tried it. Uh, but, but yeah, because we have somebody that has an older iPhone that can't upgrade to iOS seventeen. That 
Like, right, that's right. Much. Um, I'm sure it goes out saying Android is uh, not going to work. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it might. I mean, who knows? I mean, Android's starting to open up things. I see. I've seen. They're now starting to see live live uh, um, uh, live shortcuts. You know, whenever you see, send shortcuts, somebody you always see the live shortcut or shows the picture of it when it comes hmm. up. And I'm seeing some more. And they're they're able to use the emojis now. Better not do that. It's gonna <laughs> come up with. Yeah. Uh, that again, uh, so the, so I've I've seen some some things with Android and iPhone. They're starting to enhance. Obviously, you guys talked about it during your news segment there about the RCS enhancement. Um, so uh, I think you're going to see some improvements in that area uh, when it comes to the, us us iPhone people sending all these cool things to the Android people. <laughs> Great. Are the live stickers a a still image with an effect added to it pretty much and uh they also could be if you if the photo you took was a live you know, a live photo and you and you click it, it it'll bring that over so it can have that short little enhancement uh when it comes to that um so show this demo here see that yeah so see what they did was here is they they copied it, this cat pasted it as a sticker uh, and then you can add an effect so then if you want to you want to do a different colors you can do all kinds of fun stuff uh you have that ability to edit it so you have hours and hours of fun with these stickers i tell you <laughs> Any other questions? I, I have a question and probably an impossible one i guess if you're communicating with somebody well let me step back did I hear you properly? Did I hear you appropriately or hear what you said that you can do the thumbs up with most Android phones and they see it now? That part, no, I don't think they do because that's the uh, uh, that's what's called the the, the reactions. Um, okay. So uh, I don't know if you can see my drop down here. Uh, this is my camera, and this, yeah. this, actually, this actually shows the reactions, and I can turn them off from this camera. And there's the there's the reactions that it can do. I don't oh. think uh, Android can see it. No, because that was Android the, can't see that. Okay. I mean, I was, same was, thing with the with the Mac. So you uh, you have uh, when, when you have the um, screen just went off here. Uh, when you have uh, <clears throat> you have the option with the Mac having you have to have Sonoma uh, in order to be able to use the reactions for on the Mac. Um, no, no, <clears throat> I'm on Ventura and I can do it. I can see them and I can send them the thumbs oh. up kind of stuff. Anyway, you know the thumb, the thumbs up and the other ones. It's it's it, so when it, I go like this, you're going to see a thumbs up. Uh, oh, it's interesting. I'll have I thought, to look because uh, I'm on iOS I, 17. Tried, yeah, I have my work computer on Ventura and it, it wasn't working, but then I just upgraded another work computer to Sonoma and it did work. So for the thumbs up kind of stuff, yeah. Because I thought thumbs I was. Up or anything, I'll anything. have to look. I know I saw. Well, let's put it this way in sending them i just sent a friend a birthday you know happy birthday and the balloons and the balloons worked yeah. on the mat you know so i saw that so i yeah. i don't know um but it'll show up on the, you know if you're doing things i'm back and forth between the mac and the phone so i don't know all right okay well, no, well husband and i will test that later <laughs> <laughs> see what absolutely. we can do um I'll mention some some other stuff for uh, for those of you who do podcasts, uh, listen to podcasts using the Apple Podcasts app. They have improved. The, 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 so there's the timer descended here. Uh, the uh, they they ha they did do some enhancements on the podcast app for iOS 17. Uh, stop all these timers, uh, and uh, you got some improved pl uh, playlist con uh, playback controls. Uh, you do have a, a a nice new fresh design. Uh, and search filters are improved too, is with with pod, the podcast app. So I don't know which whatever many people use different types of podcatchers, and, and Apple Podcasts is the most pretty most pretty popular one. So are you trying to show us something? Because we're not seeing it. No, I wasn't. I just gave you okay. a, a verbal discussion here. Um, so uh, so uh, just just a couple other things that came to mind here. Uh, so and there's so much more. I mean. Uh, you know what, what? What I'll do here is I actually I don't know if anybody's aware of this. Apple this is the first time they've actually done this. I'll, I'll put it in the chat here. This is a um, uh, 
uh, this is a link to uh, all of the iOS 17 features in the PDF file. So I don't know if anybody saw that before, but uh, this this, goes, this gives you anything you want to know about iOS 17. And uh, that was the first time I've seen Apple actually put together a comprehensive guide like this, besides what they do on their web, they do on their website. So if you really want to get deep into what's been offered here so far, um, let me uh, uh, let me talk about uh, iOS um, 17.2 real quick here. Um, this is the beta uh, that's still out. Um, I have it installed on this one phone, so let me let me uh, let's share it with my screen again real quick here. The number one thing that's new to it is the journal app, and I don't know of anybody who's using journals. Um, and if this comes up, there we go. Um, and uh, this is the journal app right here, and this gives you the ability to be able to do all kinds of journaling. And you can do, and you can turn on journaling suggestions. You can have notifications. So now here, here kind of gives you some of the things of what you can do as a, for journaling. You can write down something that you want to reflect on. Um, you can do all kinds of different things and you can start writing. This is a journal. Um, and you can add photos, you can do all kinds of stuff. So it, it's kind of like an enhancement of notes in my opinion. Um, but journaling is, there's plenty of journal apps out there. I don't know if anybody's familiar with the, the journaling app called Day One. That was one that was, that was very popular in, on the Mac. Uh, yep. Well, Apple's now doing this on here as well. Um, and you can just keep adding entries, uh, however you want to add them and then you start writing and then this, this gives you just some, just some different cool things here. Um, I haven't done a two, uh, um, I haven't done too much in the journaling app, uh, but it's something that's going to be interesting to see when, when it comes uh, when it comes out when 17.2 is released. It should be, I think 17.2 is due to be released uh, not too long from now. We're on beta three, I think it is. Um, uh, this article here just actually shows uh, what uh, what was going on here. The one big thing they were talking about was, uh, and I'm sure a few talked about it in your news, uh, is the spatial video recording. Um, you have that ability on the 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max to be able to record spatial video that would be viewable on the in the Photos app uh, on the Vision Pro headset. <laughs> so people were disappointed in being able to, oh, I want to see the spatial, the spatial video you recorded, but no, you can't watch it on the iPhone. You have to have the Vision Pro. So that kind of tells you the enhancement that's being added you know, when the Vision Pro comes out. And I don't think too many of us is in our budget to be buying a Vision Pro, but but uh, it's going to be definitely interesting. And they've done some enhancements with music, music playlists, favorite songs, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and uh, if anybody's not familiar uh, with the uh, with the action button on the iPhone 15, uh, it, it, They've, they've added an action button. So instead of a volume control, uh, I, I have it on here. This is a push button now. And this is what, this is the translate button. I think I've added to this now, they didn't have this before. So if you wanna just tap and hold it and switch it to translate, if you're doing a lot of translations with languages, it'll, it'll actually link the translate uh, app and, and allow you to push that and go instantly get to it while people speak you know, the language uh, to be able to, to whether it's from English to Spanish or English to French or what, whatever it is. Um, and it does allow you to do a quick button, which is, th this button is really cool if anybody who does have the 15 Pro Max. Um, they even have ways that you can actually set up, and that's what I did, you can actually set up shortcuts. So uh, what I've got here is, <clears throat> it's an all-in-one action button menu where I can add a bunch of stuff here. So people get very creative with, with shortcuts and being able to add something to this as well. But the built-in stuff, I, I mean, I think most of us used the, the, the button before where it was just a toggle on and off with um, with volume that uh, it uh, it just, uh, you like to mute the, mute the ringer, you don't want the ringer to go off. But uh, this way it's uh, it's in here so you don't have to flip that switch because a lot of times it's in your pocket or your purse or wherever and the switch can get turned on and it's ringing while you're in a place that you don't want it to be ringing. Uh, this button, it, it doesn't go, there was a problem at first where people had it in their pocket and was pushing the button, but um, now it's, they, they've uh, done some improvements on it. So, but yeah, not too much other stuff with, with, with 17.2 and just, you know, just some minor enhancements, but I think the big thing, the big thing is what everybody's been waiting for anticipating is the journal app and wanting to try that and see where that goes. So and that's what, that's uh, 17.2. You know if there's going to be a um, Mac journal app? Not sure. Um, so far, they haven't said anything that I'm aware of. Um, 
I wouldn't be po- wouldn't be surprised if they do it at some point. Thing is, they're also competing with a lot of note taking apps, you know, like like drafts and uh, Notability and a lot of those apps that do notes too, as well as being able to journal. But there's also journaling apps out there too. So I wouldn't be surprised if Apple is 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 considering it. Uh, that's for sure. I'm at my time here, unless oh. anybody else has any more questions. Okay, well, why don't we uh, uh, thank David for the presentation. And anybody who doesn't know, you can you can, you can can listen to me on my podcast, which is In Touch With iOS, at intouchwithios.com. I'm also with Chuck Joyner all the time with Mac Voices Live, and we have a lot of fun uh, doing that, too. Hope you guys catch that on Tuesday nights. We record live, and I'm sure you're in his feeds as well. Uh, we got another you went through that time. really fast how do oh, i get your podcast in touch with ios.com that's okay. my website my apologies i, I do I, I i have to catch myself times i speak <laughs> a little too fast um, that was tons of great info thank you david oh great i appreciate i appreciate that and uh, i hope i uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, i'm happy to come back any other time you want to uh, to talk about stuff i love i love like like, like you guys i love talking about apple too yeah Thanks, David. Very good. Thank Very you. Good if this video is useful and enjoyable, you can help this channel by using the buttons shown below the video panel. Use the like button to help promote this video to other viewers. Providing feedback in this way is very helpful. You may also subscribe to our channel. Once you have subscribed, there will be a drop down menu on this button that has the option to receive notifications of future videos. Please select that option. Also, please share our content with others who may like it. Thank you very much for watching.